abstraction today. So what is an abstract class? Use the abstract modifier to define an abstract class, a class that can't be instantiated, meaning you can't make an instance of it. Abstract classes are useful for defining interfaces. What is that? What are we talking about here? So there's a few key concepts we have to understand. First, an abstract class cannot be created. You can't use the new keyword. Second, we're going to be defining something called an interface. An interface, just think of that simply as a contract. So when we look at, this is the previous tutorial, um, we had the mammal class, which has the has backbone, has hair, and we're setting the value actually in the mammal class. The problem with that is when we change something down here, it blew up the entire stack. So if we changed it here, suddenly feline stopped working, lion stopped working. We're gonna fix all that today. So let's just go new project. We're gonna make a new Dart console application. We're gonna call this classes four. Yes, let's do this window. And that will calculate the meaning of life and everything else. All right, so let's just get that out of there. Somebody emailed me and said, hey, stop complaining about how slow that is. Mine's really slow. So we're going to make a, a new, you guessed it, mammal file. And we're going to say abstract class. And we're going to say bool has backbone. Oops. Ah, I've got weekend on the brain. It's my... It's technically my Friday. It's the day before Thanksgiving. I'm just kind of cranking out a couple of tutorials here. And avoid speak. So, what is going on here? This looks like a normal class, but there's a few minor changes. The abstract puts the abstraction to this class. And then we have some elements here that don't have a value. That's actually part of our interface. What we're saying is anything that inherits this class has to include these. Uh, think of an interface as a contract. It's a lot like buying a car. So let's go out and say feline. My office chair is driving me nuts. Sorry about that. Mammal. And we're going to say abstract class feline oops, extends mammal. So far, nothing's really changed here, right? Bool has claws. Let's play around with this and see what happens. Let's actually go out to our main, and we're going to import that feline class here. We're going to say feline, call it cat equal new feline. And uh-oh, we already have a problem. As you have suspected, abstract classes cannot be created with the new expression. We can't instantiate them. Can't make a new instance of it. Um, so how do we actually do that? Well, we have to make a concrete class here. So let's actually go file new. We're going to make a lion class here because why not? Oops, lost my place in my notes here. All right, so in our lion class, we're going to actually import the feline. And then we're going to say class lion extends feline. Whoops, that is not what I wanted. There we go. Now it's giving us some sort of other issue. It's saying, okay, missing concrete implementations. Because this is a concrete class, not an abstract class, we have to actually now implement that interface or actually interfaces because this is an inherited interface so when we mouse over here you can see that it has claws has backbone has hair so it's missing the implementations from feline and mammal and you can actually right click on this go to generate and then implement methods and you can see exactly what it's missing and what it's from what it's from um, you can even double click and create it uh, which i'm not a big fan of because i don't like the way it does it but if you're curious it just looks like that so we're going to say bool has backbone. And we're going to actually implement this now. Bool has hair. Bool has claws. 
misspelled has twice. Wow. So we have everything that we need now. We can actually make an instance of this thing. So let's change this. We can now actually make an instance of this thing and we can actually dot speak and see what we want it to do. Now I've never heard a lion say hello world, so we're gonna change that a little bit here. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna say we're gonna make the lion roar instead. So you can see how it's very similar to actually just inheriting and extending a class, but it, there's some key caveats here. First off, you're not setting this value in the abstract class. You're not setting the actual getter. Um, so that's called an interface. You actually have to have that in your concrete class. Without it, it will actually generate an error. See how suddenly it's complaining, missing concrete implementation of mammal.hasbackbone. Um, you would do that um, for certain things, for example, if you're building a car or a truck, you know, not all cars have all the same features, but you want certain things that make up a car. A car has four wheels, you know, for example. A car has a windshield most of the time. If you pay extra, usually it has a windshield. <laughs> so the other key component here that we're missing is you can actually do some really cool things with abstraction and interfaces. So we're going to actually make another file here and call it a bird. And we're going to say abstract class bird. And we're going to say bull has wings. Now let's just get a little crazy here. Let's make another one. Scorpion. I don't know what that thing's called on the back of a scorpion. I just call it a stinger. Um, why not? So, what are we doing here? We're just making abstract classes. We're actually making interfaces. So, we're going to make a concrete class now and we're gonna call it monster we're gonna actually build a monster here because that's just how cool we are we have nothing better to do we're gonna build a monster so we're gonna make our bird or we're gonna import our bird we're gonna import the scorpion and we're gonna actually import the feline and um, this is an example of interfaces so I'm just gonna put that in case anybody's wondering so we're going to say class monster implements and we're going to say bird feline and scorpion so now we've got multiple inheritance going on here but as you can tell we also have multiple things that we're going to have to make concrete implementations of so we're going to say bull has stinger yeah, let's give our monster stingers. And let's uh, say bull has hair. Hmm, do we want a hairy monster? Why not? And through the magic of copy and paste, we're just going to do a couple of these. that and then we're going to say I don't know what noise a monster would make I mean some gobbledygook I don't know that's a monster noise ladies and gentlemen that's what that is all right so what are we missing here uh, has claws and has hair. oh yep because we misspelled this
All right, so now we've got our monster class. You can see this little icon over here, and you can actually see implements method has clause in feline. You can actually click on that, and it'll take you right to the implementation of it. All right, so let's go back to our monster here, and let's go to this chair. Man, my whole little office here is just falling apart. All right, so monster. Um, what do we want to call our monster? Let's call it the Babadook, if you've ever seen that movie. It's kind of a crazy movie. And we're going to make the Babadook speak. And why not? Let's just run this, see what happens. Bang. So there's our lion, and there's our monster making some crazy noise. A lot of work. Great. But what has it really bought us? Well, we now have two different extensions of this feline class in lion and in monster and you can see how we have multiple inheritance going on here uh, and notice the use of the implements keyword here that is key um, if you try to do extends that's a different thing um, it's, it's kind of hard to really explain but when you're extending a class you're extending the class you're taking it and making it more when you're implementing it you're actually implementing it you're saying I'm going to follow the directions um, so really we're just using um, drum roll drum roll you guessed it interfaces through abstraction and what is it bought us well we can actually say we don't want our monster to have hair and when we run there's no error where if we had done this through pure inheritance and we put has hair all the way back up in mammal because we inherit feline this whole thing would have just exploded and it would have said nope assuming we have done an assert down here Whew, that's a lot of talking but as you can see you can do some really just crazy outlandish things you can make like a airplane that's also a refrigerator or you can make a, a car that's also a helicopter so that's uh it's a really good example of inheritance class abstraction and interfaces uh, for the source code for this and other tutorials, I encourage you to visit my website, voidrealms.com. Click on Tutorials and Drumroll. There is a Voidrealms Facebook group. We have 1,700 other programmers in it. Go ahead and click that link. It takes you right to it and ask to join.